In this video we will learn how to make a fire intro VFX in red or white color in Filmora X, like this. Hello video editors. My name is Sali Ali. Welcome to Sali Tutorials. If you want to create an intro for your YouTube channel or for any brand, today's Fire Intro VFX is a great choice for you. If you are new here, please subscribe to the channel. And be sure to like this video. So let's start without wasting time. The template we need for this intro, first of all we have to import it. Right. Inside this template we have a red color fire VFX. The second is white color fire VFX. The third is the intro background sound effect. And the fourth is the fire texture picture. A link to this template is in the description. You can download for free. Go to the title and click on it. From here, drag and drop the default title to the timeline. Double click on the title and edit the title. Choose a font of your choice. I keep the size of the title 80. Right. Copy this title. Add an empty video track above. Paste the copied title into the track above. Double click on the title. In this title you can write the address of your website etc. Adjust font size and position. Right. Then go to the media. Click on the sample colors inside the media. From here, drag and drop the black color picture into the track above the timeline. That's right. Go back to the media, from here drag and drop the red or white fire VFX into the track above the timeline. Double click on fire VFX. Go to the compositing tab and open it. And select the screen in the building mode box inside it. That's right. Double click on the black color picture in the track below VFX. After double clicking go to animation tab and click on it. And then on customize. Now we will add keyframe animation on black picture. We have to move the black picture from left to right with the help of keyframes along with the animation of fire VFX. Just as the VFX fire above moves, so does the black picture below move with keyframes. Right. So this will mean that the title below will be revealed gradually with VFX. So this will create some kind of animation, and the title below will slowly be revealed in the background of Fire VFX. Right. Click the export button above. Export this video once in MP4 format. Once the video is exported, click the Find Target button. And import the exported video by dragging and dropping in the media. Right. Delete everything on the timeline. And drag and drop the exported video that we just imported into the timeline. Again, Drag and drop this video into the track above the timeline. Double click on the video above. Go to the compositing tab. Inside it, select the screen in the blending mode box. 
and then select the video of the track below the timeline. And for that too select the screen inside the blending mode box. Click on the transform tab while selecting the video of the track below. And move the video position slightly down inside position Y inside the transform tab. And flap this video. Right. Drag and drop the video of the track above two tracks, so that we have two empty tracks in the middle. That's right. Drag and drop the fire texture picture from the media in the blank track below. Adjust the duration of the picture according to the duration of the videos. Right. Next, go to Effects. Find the square blur effect inside the effects. Drag and drop this effect into this empty track. Set the duration of the effect. And the last thing we need to do is sound effects. Go to the media for this. From here, drag and drop sound effects into the audio track below. That's right. So this way you can create both red and white fire intros VFX. I hope you enjoyed this intro VFX. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I keep bringing standard videos like this, so you can also subscribe to my channel. Link to my second YouTube channel Royal Sali is in the description. Please visit my second channel and support me on this too. See you soon, peace.